Okay, so I've just been in the Forbes Family History Group. We were in there for four hours with the amazing <laughs> Jan, Jill and Jean. Yes, that was really their names. There's three, all three J's. It's all volunteer and they're there hours and hours and hours researching. One thing just keeps leading to the other and the things that we found out was just amazing. He was an orphan at 18 months old. He was born in Albury. So, why Forbes? So we're just on Lachlan Street at Forbes here. So just right there is Victoria Hotel, which we've just found out from going to Forbes Family History Group. That's actually where George lived. So when he moved from Albury, he moved in with his with these relatives, the Dunns. Thomas Dunn managed a pub called Hotel Victoria on Lachlan Street. George's auntie Harriet married this this Dunn man, and that is where. George grew up and then they found census records to show that there were all these children living at Hotel Victoria on Lachlan Street. That was extraordinary, that I didn't even know that at all. So we're, we're just um, at the Lachlan River today. Right over there behind the camera here is, um, is an oval which I think might have been where the Harriers Club would have met because I think it was the old cricket field. It was the amateur athletics club that George was involved in. Found all these old articles that say that he's won all these trophies in, long distance. I dare say this is where George and Ruby and, and all the locals would have hung out quite a lot. It's absolutely amazing. Have a look behind me here. I really wanted to find where George's baby son John was buried. He died when he was only nine months old. I found out that he was buried in the Presbyterian Cemetery. I needed to go see where this baby was buried. Okay, so we're just at Forbes Cemetery here and we've got the Presbyterian section just over here. According to the, all the cemetery records, he's in an unmarked grave. There's a section here which has some children's and babies' graves and then there's this whole empty section. You know, maybe it's just in one of these spots somewhere. So we've got some flowers. We'll just leave them somewhere for John. We'll just say that that's around about in this area, I think. Well, it was on the 26th of March that baby John died and he died of convulsions. And he was in, in Forbes with his mother, Ruby, staying at Ruby's mother's place while George was in Sydney at Liverpool camp training just before he left to go over to war. There's something really fascinating about being able to, to actually go there. It gives me a specific relationship to the places, yes, but I feel I have a more specific relationship to George.